Look how far Frey. Isn't he so hot? He is. OMG, Lucetta, look at this chair. Isn't it perfect for a foyer? Oh, I love it, Elizabeth Jane. It would look so good. I know. And those flowers and whatever that is. Oh, this is thing, it? it's just a horse drill. All it does is plant seeds. Daniel labors better anyway. Doesn't sound better. Oh, it is. It builds character, you know? You know, you don't want to buy this. It's something stupid Farfrae would buy. As okay. if. I feel like it could be pretty helpful, oh, especially no. if Farfrae knows how to use it. Farfrae, don't ever listen to Farfrae, okay? I don't want you guys talking to him. Hey, ladies. Hey, Farfrae. Hey, Farfrae. You like what I got here? Yeah, but what what does it do? Uh, it really it just plants all my seeds for me and gets it ready for the harvest. Wow. I'd love to watch you plant your seeds, Farfrae. <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah, I think it's time for us to go. So, see you later, Farfrae. Bye, Farfrae. <laughs> Elizabeth Jane, did you think Henchard was really weird today? Yeah, now that you mention it, he did seem kind of detached. Yeah, that's weird. Especially mm. to his own daughter. I mean, yeah. come on. Okay, so in a hypothetical situation, if a girl is in love with one guy, but is in, supposed to be engaged to another, which guy does she choose? That's tough. Well, Lucetta, gotta remember, real men don't love the most beautiful girl in the world. They love the girl who can make their world the most beautiful. That's, that's nice to remember. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth Jane. Thinking about changing my hair. <laughs> Hey, beautiful. Hey. Hey, Barbara. Look, Santa, you're so damn cute. Oh, thank you. How's your day been? It's been good. How's yours been? Oh, um, it's even better now. Hey, Barbara. Aww. Hey. Hey. Do you, do you have any plans for the rest of the night? Just to be with you. Oh, that's too sweet, Barbara. Should we go out to dinner? after Susan's death, but, and I guess it would look kind of weird. It wouldn't look like I'm just kind of going after your bank account, but. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. It's probably too soon. There's too many factors play into it. We're getting married, and that's that. Uh, hey, Jordan, I can marry whoever I want. Oh, hey, Farfrae. Oh, Hinchard. How have you been? Great. How about you? Oh, I could be better, I guess. You know, there's this girl that I've really been wanting to marry, but she doesn't want to marry me. I don't know what's wrong. Hmm. Well, is this uh, that young woman from New Jersey? Uh, I can't tell. Well, if it is, you've already done everything you can do for her. You don't owe her anything. <sighs> I guess, but I just wonder if there's another guy, you know? Maybe that's why she didn't want to marry me. She's in love with somebody else. I don't know. Well, I'll see you around far, friend. Okay, good luck with that. Hey, Joshua Jop, how would you like to be my manager for my grain business? Wow, that would be fantastic. I just put an ad on Craigslist to offer people my services. Well, that's good, good news. Say, so I'm trying to put Farfrae out of business. 
What do you think I should do? Well, if, if growing is what you want to do, you should look at the weather. I think that's what plants do. You know, that's a good idea. I'll get right on that. Thank you. Hey, Jock. So I took your advice. I asked the wizard, and he said that the harvest would be terrible. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy grain right now while it's cheap, and I'll sell it for a profit. Oh, good idea. The cheaper, the better. That's what I always say. That's very true. Jump! I can't believe you. I lost so much money on this stupid grain. Gosh, I can't believe you gave me advice to look for the weather. You're fired. Man, I should have just stuck with driving for Uber. <laughs> I'm so glad I changed my hair back. Look at all this money I made from the harvest. What happened here? Hinchard's men knocked over your wagon. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? Your men knocked over this wagon and disrespected Farfrae's stuff. Oh, I don't think my men did that at all. How could you let your men do that? I think it was your men, Farfrae. Why would they knock over my own wagon? Because they're irresponsible and they're terrible. Is that why I have a successful business, huh? Oh you call gosh. that irresponsible? I'll deal with this later. I have a drunk woman I have to attend to. Masada, I think we need to get married now. Now? Well, pretty soon at least. Okay. Okay. You think we could do that? Yeah, I think we can. Well, sweet. I'm gonna go get started planning for it. Okay. Bridge if you don't want to marry me. Well, I came before I knew Farfrae, and now that I know Farfrae, it's just... I can't believe you. If you don't marry me, I'll show Farfrae those texts. No, please, please don't. Then promise to marry me. I promise. We need a witness. Elizabeth Jane, get over here. I want you to witness her promise. Okay. I promise that I'll marry you, Hitchard, as long as you don't show, show far from the text I give you. Thank you. Come on, Elizabeth Jane. So what's this about a drunk woman? So I was a saleswoman at the county fair, and this man was drunk and sold his wife and his daughter for five bitcoins. Oh no, how'd they find out? It's true, it's true! I can't believe I was engaged to someone who sold their wife and their daughter. Are you back from Port Brady? Okay, well, I'll come back later. Port Brady's this way, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Where's Farfrae? You can go meet us there. Oh, okay. Look out for that ball! Thank you so much, Hinchard, for saving us. Oh, it's no problem. You want me to take you home, Lucetta? Sure, that'd be great. Oh, hello, Jane. I finally got my phone. Will you go back and get it for me? Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, my gosh, Farfrae. Listen, Jane, you missed it. We almost died. How? A bull? A bull? A bull? What? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. What happened? It chased us. Uh, us? Who's us? Lucetta and I. Where is she now? Uh, I think Henchard took her home. Henchard? What? Henchard. Huh. Well, do you need a ride home? Yeah, I, I do. Okay, well, let's go. This way. Okay, let's go. You know, Lucetta, I've been thinking, and I think it's okay that we don't get married right away. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. As long as you promise to get married to me um, through Mr. Gompers, you know? Well, see, that's, that's kind of a problem. Um, I married Farfrae at Fort Reedy. You what? Yeah. 
wh why would you do that? Well, um, I don't really know why. I guess I was t too scared to marry you because you sold your first wife and child. Well, why would that matter? You made a promise to me. I think that matters. I will reveal our past to Farfrae. Please, please don't do that. I'll do whatever I want. You know what, Lucetta? I'm so glad we could finally move in together. Me too, Farfrae. Except, I haven't really told Elizabeth Jane yet, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. Hey, Elizabeth Jane, remember when I asked you what a girl should do if she's in love with two guys? Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, that girl, that girl is me. I know. The guys are Henchard and Farfrae, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I just, I don't know what to do, because I don't think Henchard's fit to be a husband. Well, I think you should either marry neither of them, or marry Henchard. See, see, that's the problem. I already married Farfrae. I'm moving out. Thanks for letting me move in with your job. You know, after my business failed and nobody's gonna give me a loan, I just have nowhere to go. I really appreciate you. Ah, no problem. You can have the couch. Uh, there's food in the fridge. I do need you out of here on Wednesday nights because poker night. But other than that, it's nice having you here. All right, thank you. Who is it? Um, Henshard? Are you in there? Go away. I don't want to see anybody right now. Oh. Okay, see you later. Aww. Oh. Uh, should I do it? Man, I don't know. I don't want to ruin this shirt. It's a nice shirt. It's not worth it. I like this shirt. Say, Henchard. Farfrae bought all your stuff. Your house, your business, everything. Wow. I can't believe that. Thanks for the good news, Jop. No hey, Henchard. Hey, Farfrae. How are you? I'm alright. Are you playing related country? Yeah, that's true. I don't want to be here anymore. Well, you can come live with me and Lucetta at your old house if you want. I don't know. That'd be a little too awkward for me. But thank you, though. You want any of your old furniture? No, I think I'll be fine. Okay, well, have fun on your own. Okay. Who is it? It's Elizabeth Jane. Henshard, I heard you were sick. Do you need anything? I'm fine. I don't want to see anybody. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, I feel really bad for leaving Elizabeth Jane alone by herself. I really need to go get a job. Hey, Farfrae. Hey, Henshard, you look terrible. Yeah, I haven't had the best of luck lately. I don't have a job or anything. Do you think you can help me out? Well, there is one position available. You can start tomorrow if you'd like. Thank you so much, sir. You won't regret it. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> well, Joshua Jopp, it's been a while. Elizabeth Jane, I haven't talked to you for a while. Did you hear Henchard started drinking again? What? That's terrible. I need to find him right away. I can't believe them. Hey, you want to sing a song for me? Well, I suppose so. Happy birthday to... No, 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 no. What about Farfrae? Huh. Okay. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. It's a shame on me now I'm... Come on, Henchard. We're going home. What? Why? You're making a fool out of yourself. Ugh. 
but far free. I, uh, I want to kill him. Don't say that. I mean, this harvest is amazing. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm such a genius. Yeah, you are. So far with that. Just leave me in my work. Okay. Hey, Chard, I brought you some tea. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth Jane. This is gonna be really refreshing. You're welcome. is saying some really nasty stuff about you. And he's not usually violent, but he started drinking again, so who knows what'll happen. Elizabeth Jane, you're, just, you're being way too cautious about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just worried about you, Parker. It's all gonna be fine. It's okay. employee, Henchard, has been making some serious threats about you. Really? Well, I was going to let him be a manager at one of those seat stores, but... You know what? I think I changed my mind about him. It's a good idea. Hello, Henchard. Hey, Town Clark. How are you doing? I'm alright. You know, it seems that Farfrae's changed his mind about your employment. I don't think he's going to hire you anymore. What? Are you kidding me? All that poor prey, I'm really gonna get him now. You know, Hinchard has been really, really mean to me lately. Maybe we should just sell everything and pack up and leave Castor Bridge. Yeah, maybe. That'd be nice. Are you Mr. Farfrae? Uh, yes I am. Mike Smith, Town Council. Nice to meet you. The town's really been struggling lately, and we want you to run for mayor. Really? Are you saying I'm a little young? Nonsense. You're more experienced than anyone in this town. Hmm. I accept. Oh, hey, Lucetta. Hey, Henchard. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. That's fine. So, you know those texts I sent you a while back? Uh, yeah. yeah. You think you could delete those, or like, just make sure nobody finds out about them? Well, I don't really know if I still have them, but if I do, I guess I'll think about it. Okay, thanks. See All you right. around. See ya. Even since you asked, I got some hot texts from this girl, you know. She's really into me. Really? From? Oh, uh, nobody you would know, but you know. It just says, you are the love of my life, and I can't stand to be without you. You're the greatest person ever. Well, you should just delete those. You don't need them. Eh, maybe. I'll think about it. But, you know, you have a good day, Farfrae. You too. So, Lucetta, what did you want to talk to me about? Hinchard, I really need you to delete those texts I sent you. Why would I do that? Because, Hinchard, I don't want Farfrae to find out that I sent you those. <sighs> I mean, fine, I guess I'll do it, but only for you. Thank you so much, Hinchard. You're welcome. <laughs> 